I get it, man. I, I've done so much studying. Why are people leaving their jobs? 4.4 million just last month. I get it. Your creative engines are just going smoking hot is what they are. You want to be someplace else. You want to find success in a different division. You know it's in you. God, I love you so much. I love you so much for trying. In fact, I was talking to the billionaire podcast guy and and he said, I, I, actually, my question was, I said, is this going to affect the economy? 4.4 million people leaving their jobs? He says, no. It's going to stimulate the economy because they're coming into the world with newer ideas. I love you. I love you so much. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Where are you at? How have you been? It's been 10 days since we've done something brand new. I'm just paging through the daily writing. Um, 10 days that I didn't expect. Uh, I, I don't know if you believe in God or the universe, but, uh, well, that power grabbed me by the nap of the neck and said, um, your mother has passed on. You are not going to do anything. You are going to heal inside because you're going to prepare your inside for your mother's entry. And your mother is going to set up shop. She's, she's bringing her furniture with her and, and you're going to learn to deal with, with these things. And, and the way that we're going to do that is that you're going to go away for a little bit. You're, you're going to step free and we're, we're going to replenish the soil. And in and, and doing that, I'll tell you what, I, I had a, I, I, first of all, I'm, I'm, I love digging into content. I love content. I am so snoopy that it, it's a wonder that I don't have, you know, a Pinocchio sized nose because I like putting my nose in everything. And I came across this thing called Remarkable 2. Have you heard that? Remarkable 2? I didn't even know that there was a Remarkable 1. It's a digital notebook that is used like a sheet of paper. I mean, come on, using my own handwriting without taking down trees? My God, I'm a tree hugger. This is so up my alley. But here's the thing. I, I, I've been poisoned by the reviews. I've heard the complaints and smiled at some of the happy thoughts. First, I'm not having any issues with physically using these journals that I have. I have well, My only issue is, is that why is it when I go to Amazon, it's like $16, $17 to have it sent to my house. But man, I go over to Michael's and I can pick up one of these journals for like $6.99. What gives here? See, localism, baby. You got to invest in localism. So I saw this remarkable too, and I thought about the future of writing. Now, my, my past writing is blessed within weatherized cases. I mean, 27 years of daily writing, completely free of the sun. Now, being a realist here, though, the heart has its focus on the what ifs, the what if in the journey. We all face those what ifs in our personal journeys. I can't go back and digitize the already printed journals. I can't do that. There's 27 years of daily writing here. You know how many days that is? That would be one enormous task with no real decision of what to do next. It's going to be time that I can't get back. I know this because of how I react when I do jump back into those books, when I want to go back and see how I acted or reacted during a particular day or night. And once inside those pages, you don't want to be near me. You don't. Writing is a beautiful adventure, but the experience of daily writing seems to have its blissful feeling only when you're releasing it. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer, and, and that's what daily writing is. It's, it's just sitting there having a conversation with that inner core going, yo, what's up? <laughs> Today we're reading from December 6th, 2021. Um, I do carry the reputation of not always being a good hangout. W- what about you? What about you? I, it was so funny that yesterday while out on the front line, somebody had a birthday that was one day off mine. And, and, I, and, and the person goes, so do you believe in all that cancer stuff that, that, you know, what cancers are? I said, yeah, we're creative. Yeah, we, we're very emotional. We, we are attachable. Uh, but, but you know what? I'm okay if I'm in a room all by myself with nobody around me. <laughs> I do carry the reputation of not always being a good hangout. I don't know if it's because I'm a writer, a radio guy, or a storyteller, or even an artist. But when the limit of my giving is met, I use this voice right here, as soft it is, as it is right now, to point other hearts in a completely different direction. And people can't stand that side of me. How can you be so upbeat, they say, so fun, so supportive and understanding, and then all of a sudden, you just turn it off? Oh, I've got an excuse. It's called the Taking Advantage Club. It's where other people 
come into your world and they're planting sweeter things and sweeter fruit on their paths. And it all came from you, the inspiration, the fun, the activities that you bring to the game. See, now this isn't a negative. This, this is awareness. And I swear to God, I feel far worse than anybody who keeps stealing from me. The Taking Advantage Club comes with a guarantee. Hey, if one of our well-spirited giving folk falls short on supporting you 100%, it's okay. There are more choices in the circle of better than cool givers. That's right. The Taking Advantage Club puts its pride in getting you what you want when you need it because we're going to guilt trip their asses because, hey, you know what? We don't have former givers because we forgive the Taking Advantage Club. <laughs> you got to let these people go. You got to let them go. They're poison. And, and, you know, and that's the thing about it is because they are going to find another and another and another and another. And that's why so many times when I meet brand new people, I stand back six feet. Yeah. Not, not because of COVID-19. I stand back six feet because uh, what do you want? Just you know, up front. What do you what do you want? And, and so, you know, and, and people do uh, attach themselves to positive energy and things like that. And, and it's like, you know, I, I'm not always this way. It, it, you know, I, I, I'm a cancer. I, I was born on June 28th. I'm a cancer. And, and so, but people need to study, you know, uh, who it is that they want to become friends with and stand back six feet, maybe even nine feet. Um, because, you know, those that give a lot are often forgotten. Those that give a lot are often forgotten. I'll, I'll, I'll go back to the beginning. I do carry the reputation of not always being a good hangout. And the reason why is because in this very soft voice, when I've given too much, I point you in a different direction. I don't scream. I don't show my anger. We just have a different kind of conversation. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.